My name is Marty, and this is the prologue of Match Notes, a new series of short video breakdowns of my personal progress learning how to play fighting games. For now, I'm focused on the game I've started recently, Skullgirls. My goal of this series is relatively simple. After playing sessions of Skullgirls matches, I do a quick run-through of what I was focused on trying to do during these games, and take notes on what I struggled with. The reason for this format is while I've always considered myself someone who loves fighting games, I tend to be impatient with the learning process, usually opting to repeatedly play more games without making any adjustments, until I get frustrated and either stagnate or give up entirely. I figured if I could turn the boring, note-taking side of the learning process into a production itself, it would feel more fun and rewarding. No one comes from the same starting place, so I feel it's important to share a little background of my experience level with fighting games prior to picking up Skullgirls. In 2006, I was 14 years old when I had my mind blown by the Super Smash Bros. Melee combo video Shined Blind on YouTube. By this point, I had already thought I was a Smash Brothers expert among my friends, and I could have never imagined there was another level of speed and style that could be possible. It wasn't long before I was obsessed. I played and competed for years, but my progress was very slow. While I loved the game very much, I wasn't great at looking for new competition, and eventually stopped pushing myself to learn new tactics and techniques that the community continued to discover. It wasn't long that new people arriving on the scene were able to catch up and beat me outright. I took a long break from competitive gaming, but continued to absorb fighting game community content on YouTube and Twitch. I found resources talking about the learning process and overcoming hurdles as a new or plateaued player. One thing that struck me was this idea of fighting games as a conversation between two players, where both people try to use their characters' tools to create interesting plans for how to win while simultaneously trying to respond to their opponent doing the same thing. I found this fundamental way of thinking about how to play fighting games was something I never truly understood, despite my time playing Smash and even when I tried other franchises like Street Fighter or Guilty Gear. Deep down, I just wanted to be like the players that I saw in combo videos. With this series, I want to try a new approach to progress and challenge myself to be more patient and critical. It may turn out that this isn't successful at all for me, but I'm willing to find out. The first time I played Skullgirls was at MAGFest in 2013. I remember being drawn to the art style and animation, but my initial reaction at the time was, Ew, that over-sexualized nurse ninja character used a corpse in a body bag as an attack. That's really disturbing. Flash forward when a certain large tournament series announced its new online-only lineup, and my friends were all talking about Skullgirls again. I was coming around to appreciating the wacky originality of the game's style, and we all wanted to play a game with good online as we waited for Guilty Gear Strive to come out. We resolved to give it a shot. And while I still feel like some characters are maybe a bit too stylized for my liking, I was excited to dive in. To recap, Match Notes is my way of trying to make the methodical, analytical aspect of the learning process into something that's more fun and engaging for me personally. I have a basic familiarity with a handful of fighting game concepts due to my background playing Super Smash Bros. Melee, so there may be some things I pick up quickly, and other things that will take me much longer to get accustomed to. I intend for these videos to be an authentic depiction of my learning process, and only hope that someone else can maybe get as much value out of watching them that I hope to get out of making them. Before we go, I wanted to give a quick shout out to my buddy Nathan, who goes by the handle Frank, who's my opponent in the majority of these matches. You can check out his Twitch and YouTube that are linked here. Also, nearly all of the amazing art on my channel was designed by my brother Henry, and you can find some of his art on Instagram and YouTube as well. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.